Hello everyone, I'm the Kremlin Archer and welcome to the Shortest Trip to Earth. Shortest Trip to Earth is a new uh, space exploration ship management roguelike game coming out. It's got some heavy shades of FTL about it, but it seems to me at least from what a little bit that I've played so far, it has enough of its own stuff going on that I'm, I'm down. Not worried about it being too close to FTL as far as I'm concerned. Um, I've just done the tutorial really so far, so we're just going to start a regular game. Oh, I should say it's coming out in early access October 9th, which is, I believe, the day that this video will go up. So check it out. It's on Steam. Link's in the description. So choose your starting sector. The closest star. Captain's log. Warp drive malfunction has landed us on the wrong place. Light years away from Earth. We're almost out of fuel. Supplies are running low. Some crew have been injured and the equipment is not working. Personally, I find all of this not too bad because... I don't know. I guess <laughs> that's it. All right. This small missile boat was not built for intergalactic flight, but comes with military-grade armor and engines, providing superior tactical survivability, including a small nuke arsenal. If if relevant paperwork is filled out. Wait, what is this? Antique UE ship obtained from museum, packed with outdated alien technology, and was not built for combat. Many of the ship's fo modules function by eating organics. <laughs> Pre-installed cryosleep pods are rumored to produce fantastically vivid dreams. Alright, so there's a bunch of other ships here. Um, I'm gonna go with this guy just because this is the ship it starts you with. We are of course gonna change its default name to the Crumulant Archer. And so it's got two weapon slots, one nuke slot, 18 other slots, 32% base accuracy, 64% deflection, 5% evasion, 10 starting crew, and 30 hill points. Now what does all that mean? That I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> but let's get rolling, huh? Choose starting bonus perks. Extra fuel reserve, backup rations, metals, extra synthetics, drone repair bay, Improvised med bay, resource packs, some drones of various types. Um, I think I'm going to be. These are our crew over here, too. That's interesting. Um, I'm just going to be safe, I guess. Oh, we got 25 points to spend, so we're going to buy a lot of stuff here. Prove the ship Gatling gun. Sure, let's do that. DIY backup weapon. Sounds good. Backup sensors. Sure. Let's get some extra materials on all these things, too. I'm not sure if these are something that you get to keep or if you always start with 25 who knows but we'll just go with this i don't know i kind of selected things at random there not used all your fate points yet they do not accumulate okay no all right in that case let's get um, a maintenance join and i need something else that's a one pointer cryo sleep pod sure Function at our stars and our ship's warp drive landed us in deep space. Stranded away from all possible possibilities to resupply or refuel. Whoops. I didn't realize that was gonna click off of that. Sorry. Alright, so you got the we got our ship here. Mothership AI. I've defrozen the our entire crew. I've assigned all of them to operate different ship modules. You might want to review this later. Ideally, our best operator should work with the shields and our best gunner. Should control the ship's weapons. Also completed calculating the shortest route back to Earth. The journey goes through ten sectors of uncharted space. Each of those sectors will contain an ancient one-way warp gate built by precursors before our time. The warp gates are usually controlled by a dominant faction of each sector. We must convince whoever is guarding them to let us through. I've marked the intergalactic warp gate of this system on our sector map. Try to explore every star system on the way to maximize our survival chances. Okay, all right. So let's pause this for a second here. So this is our ship. We got some weapons, 
So you can see we've got a bunch of, this is all our ship stats that I read before. We've got six shields going on. We've got 30 hull points. I guess that's our hit points, basically. Can't warp too far from stars. These are our materials that we have in stock. This is our power. Turning things on and off. We got our 10 crew. Nine crew, apparently. I don't know why we said we were going to have 10. Um, and you got your, your spaceship map, which is us. And we got other things that we can do. You can see it takes 21 fuel, 55 organics. Which I think the organics is just a measure of how much food we're going through, basically. Um, this is our weapons material modules here. We got a rail gatling and an ATX MK2. All right, so let's take a look at our modules here. What is this? This is the ship's generator shields. All right, I need to find the best one with the best operator stat, which is this little computer skill thing. I think they may already be assigned properly. Oh, actually, no, you have a three. You go do that. Uh, you do this. So if we unpause, they're going to go do that. What else we got? Is this one needed an operator? An automatic railgun does not need an operator. When they need operators, they usually have kind of the, like the little indents. Okay, I think, anyways. What is this? This is the warp drive. Standard Terran. You go do this. This is our maintenance drone. XX444. Alright, so let's go to the map. And we will go here. See what's up. Orbital scan. Life spotted. Orbital scan reveals the presence of vegetation. Strangely, the atmosphere contains only trace amounts of oxygen. Let's explore it. Non-carbon ecosystem. Plant hosts exclusively non-carbon life, including primitive animals. Unsuitable for our purposes, we may set up temporary mining facilities to exploit titanium mineral seams near the surface. Keeping the opera operation ecological comes with a cost increase. So we can research and echo mining. It's ten, minus 100 synthetics in the crew. Or we can do it brutally. It's, well, you know, it's early right now. I don't know which one of these is synthetics. I think it's that one. Let's let's do it. Let's do it friendly like. Operation is complete. Each colony or separate organism meeting a certain size criteria was transported from the mining site to a temporary relocation platform documented during the industrial mining operations. They returned to their original location after we had collected Easily accessible or regrettably, a number of fragile insect like creatures were killed due to mishandling by our drones. Our advanced harvesting technology is not perfect yet. So it's the Triforce looking thing of synthetics. Okay, so we're kind of low on that now. Want to read more about resources? Um, I actually don't want to read more about resources. Not right now. Maybe off camera. Alright, let's go here. Gravitational pull of this planet is too strong for efficient operations on the planet. Okay. This thing looks, this planet looks like something. Let's go there. Planet with atmosphere. Okay. I don't know why it stopped a little bit short of it. Presence of life, strangely not spots vegetation on the ground. What's our fuel? Our fuel's okay, I guess. Local ecosystem is fungus-based, which means eco-harvesting is easy because here because we can take the fruit bodies of the shrooms without killing the whole organism. Research and eco-harvest. Research only leave the exit. Let's eco-harvest. Boom. Give it. Our crew and bots co- Our bots eco-harvested the fruiting bodies of the mushroom, leaving the developed parent organisms themselves intact. We are able to harvest a significant amount of organics without killing a single creature. Lots of food and data. Alright, I was just seeing if I could warp there, but it, it... 
Apparently I can, but I haven't explored everything yet, so it's asking me if I really want to do that. Which I don't, because I'd like to explore everything. If we can af we seem to be able to afford it. And if we die, whatever. <laughs> Ship carcass. Carcass is some kind of fuel tanker, looted to the bones, most likely the work of pirates. The remaining metals and synthetics of the ship frame were too cheap to justify looting even by the pirates. However, a small cloud of leaked star fuel has been detected. Uh, sure, collect the fuel. No fuel co Full collected, no incidents. Plus 36 fuel. Nice. Alright, one last thing to check out here. Gas giant is a thin layer of harvestable fuel elements in the outer atmosphere. General atmospheric conditions are mild and few small plasma storms have been detected. Sure, harvest, why not? Hey, smoothie. 100 fuel. Alright, we're out of here. Alright, we got one trade signal, three planets potentially visited. These don't have any information. Alright, let's warp to that destination then. Smuggler, gore more individual. May your profits accelerate fellow consciousness. Let us trade forms of energy for mutual profit. Our fleet will be leaving the system after this meeting is over, so this is truly a once-in-a-lifetime offer. Analysis of the trader fleet credentials suggests that less than perfect reputation. By explosives. So did I don't know what one exotics is, but let's do that. Instead of universal intergalactic zenith currency, the package contains a huge amount of ancient, obsolete, practically worthless data currency. Total value of one Xeno data. Additionally, there's a note saying, if the currency is not valid, please accept this organic edible slime as a bonus. So I guess that was bad? I think that was bad. Oh, did we stop part of the way? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Ruins of an ancient, advanced urban landscapes can be seen from orbit. Looks like a war zone between some of the elder species. No signs of life. And size of the planet gives the field high gravity. Sure, let's explore. Got a lot of fuel in the last run. Broken domes dot the landscape. Signs of th thermonuclear and heavy energy warfare are visible everywhere. The place could be full of hazardous conflict remains. Unknown urban technology patterns require the presence of crew. Sure. Oh, we're under attack. Our ancient scavengers were ambushed by advanced war drones hiding in the ruins, receiving significant damage before neutralizing the, neutralizing the threat we decided to leave the planet recovering surviving operatives with <laughs> little they gathered we lost crew total hit points okay what does that mean we still have all nine people where are your hit points Being the sex robot designer wanted to get away from the clients and the fans. It's funny. Alright, how do I see the crew hit points is my question. Oh, seven of eight. I see it now. Five of eight. Can we get healed? How do I use these things? Hmm, I'm not sure how to use the, the stuff here. Oh, I have to install it. Okay. There you go. Alright, you. Go get healthy. Just trying to make sure I understand how this works. We have a, a little roamer. What is this? Certified species spaceship pep does not only does only what she wants. It's a cat. All right. So are you are you healed now? Five of eight. It says. All right. I'm I'm not sure. I'll figure it out later.
Contemplator Colony. This planet's colonists by an advanced civilization, a multi-species community of philosophers calling themselves Contemplators. The galactic joke is that they are in deep thought all the time because they do not know what they really want. Alright, we're just landing position. Automated drones meet us at the landing to give us an overview of options. They explain that a dominant philosophical policy allows us to meet the locals only once. Interaction with the automated trade platform will remain open. Okay. Meet the locals. During the hospitality session, our crew are invited to the Hall of Questions, a techno-telepathic psychedelic learning machine. Alright. Let's give it a shot. Some of our crew start to bleed a little from their eyes, but the contemplators assure us that it is completely normal. The Hall of Questions left our representatives with profound new ways to realize they were only fools on so many levels. Alright, so we got plus four fate points. As we prepare to leave the next day, they're given a generous gift. One module, plus one modules? Alright, what do I get here? What is this? What is a resource pack? Store it for now. What do we have in here, by the way? Mid Bay DIY. Let me replace that. I think the Med Bay is what we wanted here. You. Go get healed up in the Med Bay? Yep, there we go. That's what we wanted. Alright. I know there is ship combat in here. I'm not sure why we haven't seen it yet, by the way. Plants, dominant plants on this grow to enormous pods filled with oily substance as fruits. Analysis indicates fruit oil can be processed into star fuel. It carries a small warp charge. Harvest the star, star fuel fruits. Research only. Leave this beautiful world untouched. Nope. Harvest. A bunch of food and a bunch of organic, uh, fuel and organics. Uh, prospect for asteroids. Large asteroid. Bunch of metals. Are we done here? I feel like we've hit all these now. Two out of three planets visited. So have not been here yet? I thought I'd been to all these. I mean, it says that I have. Hmm. Whatever. Let's go to the next place. One fleet. Alright, I think we're going to get into a fight here, potentially. Cast giant will put a little fuel elements in its corrosive atmosphere. Harvest. Smoothly. Lost some metals, lost some synthetics. Our food is getting a little low. Oh, here we go. Single ship rapidly approaching. Tactical weapons range. Broadcast Rat Empire credentials. Alien vessel. Uh, I'm just going to fight them because I want to show you the ship combat. Alright, so we got to bring these guys online. Which I believe is done like this. Hang on, I gotta pause the pause things here. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Alright, you're on. You're on. You're on. Oh, that's just point defense. Okay. You, however. So you sort of have like a cone. You see the see the cone here. Um, so I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna try and shoot warp drive, rat shields. I have a feeling we're probably gonna lose this one. Um, this first fight, I fully expect us to die just because this is the first time we've really played this game. All right, so I'm gonna just shoot at the this cannon here. This guy. This one will shoot at the bridge.
And I think that's basically it, huh? I don't know why none of our guns are shooting. Oh, there they go. We got a fuel leak. Maintenance drone's on it. Now keep in mind this is my first real fight. So I don't really entirely know what I'm doing. I feel like there's more to this than this that I'm just not doing right. We almost lost our shields. One of the hospital ships is charging up its warp drive to escape the combat area. You may want to prevent this from... Is there another ship? No, it's just the one ship. Alright, um, hang on, pause. You. Attack its warp drive. Don't let it run away. It's absolutely gonna get away. I, I can tell already. Oh, we just lost a gun. Oh, we won. Hey, look at that. No wreckage. Oh, no, they escaped. We got a fate point, though. This seems the sector has been cleaned by the Rat Empire. Greedy little xeno xenophobic mammals they are. Do you like da see the database nodes on their civilization? Sure. Organized as a system that guarantees social and resource inequality, egalitarian is ridiculed and in organizing everything into pyramid hierarchies is highly praised. The technology is inferior compared to ours. Rat, mil rat military focus on projectile weapons. Fuel trader. I got lots of fuel. I don't need your fuel. Alright, so can I repair this stuff? Alright, that seems like that just came back online. Go we'll fix that. Yep, yeah, they're fixing things. Okay, good. Alright. Back out here. So yeah, so they, there's fighting, as you can see. Have I been here already? Precursor technology possibly a warp animal, although they usually do not land on planets. Investigate. Warp energy emanates from a large robot. Its unusual design suggests precursor technology and doesn't seem to be a military unit. Send drones to investigate and the robot efforts at least hacks one of them to communicate safety to your ship and releases a drone. Sure, let's approach. Why not? As they approach... They suddenly get an un unnerving feeling that somebody is actively reading their minds. You need help, the robot states coldly in their mind. It looks at your ship and sees pieces of ground of the ground raising up into the air around it. The dirt transforms into metal bits, which attach themselves to the whole hull, and the robot befalls silent. So we got seven hit points, seven ship hit points. All right, I fully expected to die this quickly, but I gotta wrap up right here because we've been going about 25 minutes, which is about appropriate for a good episode. So I'm gonna stop here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Comes out today, so check it out on um, on Steam if you wanna get in on it on early access. I am, as always, the Crumbling Archer. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a like. Helps out a great deal. Consider subscribing if you wanna see more videos in the future, and I'll see you guys next time.